the two TE-25KMers, is a modern Russian mainline freight diesel-electric locomotive designed to meet the demands of heavy-haul railway operations on the 1,520mm broad-gauge network. Its emergence reflects a broader transition in Russian rail engineering away from late Soviet designs toward more efficient, digitally controlled, and life-cycle-focused locomotives. The locomotive belongs to the 2TE25 family, representing an evolutionary development from earlier heavy freight classes such as the 2TE10 series, which dominated Soviet and post-Soviet freight transport for several decades. Serial production of the 2TE25KM began in the year 2014 at the Bryansk Machine Building Plant, a major locomotive manufacturing facility within Transmash Holding. Its development was driven by the needs of Russian railways and other freight operators for a high-powered diesel locomotive capable of hauling heavy loads over long, frequently non-electrified routes. The emphasis was placed on reliability, ease of maintenance, and full compatibility with existing infrastructure rather than on experimental technologies. From the outset, the 2TE25KM was conceived as a standardized, high-volume industrial locomotive rather than a limited production model. This approach is evident in its conservative yet robust engineering, extensive component standardization, and a long projected service life. Over time, the locomotive has become one of the most widespread modern diesel freight classes in Russia. Manufacturing of the 2TE25KM at Bryansk is closely tied to Russia's broader railway industrial strategy. Altitude Attics learned that the locomotive incorporates a high share of domestically produced components, including the diesel engine, traction equipment, control systems, and structural assemblies. This reduces dependence on foreign suppliers and simplifies long-term maintenance and overhaul logistics. From an industrial standpoint, the 2TE25KM provides production stability for the Bryansk plant and its supplier base. It also preserves engineering continuity between legacy Soviet locomotive concepts and modern digital control platforms. Its long production run and steady orders demonstrate that operators view it as a dependable and economical solution rather than a technological experiment. The locomotive is designed for a service life of nearly 45 years, provided that scheduled overhauls and modernization cycles are followed. This aligns with Russian railway practice, where rolling stock is expected to remain in operation across multiple generations of crews and maintenance staff. The 2TE25KM is a two-section locomotive, with both sections semi-permanently coupled to function as a single operational unit. Each section is mechanically and structurally self-contained, allowing some flexibility in maintenance while delivering high combined power output. The layout follows the traditional Russian heavy freight design philosophy, prioritizing robustness, simplicity, and ease of access. Each section rides on two three-axle bogies, resulting in a coco plus coco axle configuration. All axles are powered, providing high adhesive weight and strong tractive effort at low speeds. This arrangement is especially well-suited for starting very heavy freight trains and maintaining traction on gradients, curves, and lower quality track. The locomotive body is constructed from welded steel and features a central engine compartment with equipment rooms and a driver's cab. The external design is utilitarian rather than aerodynamic, reflecting its role in freight service at moderate speeds. Each section is powered by a Kolomna-built 18-9DG diesel engine. This four-stroke V-configuration engine is designed for continuous heavy-duty operation and produces approximately 3,600 horsepower per section. In two-section configuration, the locomotive delivers more than 7,000 horsepower, firmly placing it in the heavy mainline freight category. The diesel engines drive electrical generators that supply power to direct current traction motors. The locomotive uses a diesel-electric transmission system with alternating current generation followed by rectification to direct current for traction. 
Although newer locomotives increasingly use asynchronous alternating current motors, the direct current system was chosen for its proven reliability and ease of maintenance. This transmission setup provides strong, low-speed tractive effort and stable power delivery. It is particularly suited to long freight trains where sustained pulling force is more important than rapid acceleration. Each section of the 2TE25KM weighs roughly 140 to 145 metric tons. The total locomotive mass is close to 290 metric tons. Axle load is about 24 metric tons, carefully selected to comply with the limits of mainline freight infrastructure across Russia and neighboring countries. The total length of the two-section locomotive is approximately 40 meters. Width is slightly over 3.1 meters and height is just above 5 meters. These dimensions conform to the loading gauge of the 1520 millimeters network and permit unrestricted operation on most mainline routes. The bogies and suspension are designed to tolerate uneven track, wide temperature variations, and long maintenance intervals. A relatively small minimum curve radius allows the locomotive to operate on mainlines as well as in yards, industrial sidings, and terminal areas. In daily service, the 2TE25KMM is primarily used in heavy freighties, including bulk cargo, container trains, and long mixed consists. Depending on route conditions, it can haul trains exceeding 6,000 metric tons and even heavier loads on favorable gradients. Maximum operating speed is around 100 km per hour. In practice, freight operations usually run at lower average speeds, with emphasis placed on continuous traction rather than top speed. Altitude addicts learned that the defining characteristic of the 2TE25KM is its ability to function reliably in harsh climates. It is engineered for extreme cold, high heat, and dusty environments. This makes it suitable for service across Siberia, Central Asia, and other regions with demanding environmental conditions. The driver's cab represents a clear improvement over older Soviet-era locomotives. Ergonomics, visibility, and thermal insulation have all been enhanced. Digital displays and diagnostic systems provide real-time information on locomotive status and performance. Microprocessor-based controls manage engine operation, traction power, and protective systems. While conservative by global standards, the system balances modernization with transparency and ease of understanding for crews and maintenance staff. Noise and vibration levels are lower than on earlier diesel classes, reducing crew fatigue on long shifts. Although primarily built for Russian railways, the 2TE25KM has also been exported to countries using the 1520 mm gauge. These include several Central Asian states and Mongolia, where long distances and non-electrified routes remain common. In these markets, the locomotive is valued for its durability, compatibility with existing maintenance facilities, and predictable operating costs. It can be integrated into current fleets with minimal changes, unlike more specialized designs. The locomotive plays an important role in Russia's modern rail strategy. Despite ongoing electrification, large parts of the rail network remain non-electrified due to geography, cost, or traffic patterns. In such areas, high-powered diesel locomotives remain indispensable. By replacing older and less efficient classes, the 2TE25KM reduces fuel consumption, improves reliability, and lowers life cycle costs. Its standardized design simplifies fleet management, spare parts supply, and crew training across vast distances. The 2TE25KM is not revolutionary in terms of cutting-edge technology. Instead, it stands as a highly successful example of evolutionary engineering applied to a demanding operational environment. Combining high power, a proven diesel electric system, and structural strength with modern controls and improved crew comfort, it fulfills its role as a dependable heavy freight workhorse. Its widespread adoption, long production life, and export use demonstrate its effectiveness on Eurasian freight railways. 
As long as heavy freight continues to move over non-electrified routes, the 2TE25KM will remain a cornerstone of mainline diesel traction well into the middle of the 21st century. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the membership of Altitude Addicts to encourage us.